I was having lunch, actually lunch over Zoom uh, with my friends. Normally we had uh, lunch about once a month at a pizzeria, uh, but now due to the close-up, uh, we were forced to have it online. At least we got to see each other and reminisce about the old days. I've known a lot of these people since 1980. Anyway, um, it reminded me of some old, uh, old things that we would do back in the day that you don't do anymore. And one of those is um, draw things with pen and paper uh, or pencil and paper. And um, my handwriting is not very good. And I think you've seen my schematics before. Um, my resistors leave a little bit to be desired and I don't draw straight lines and uh, I'm pretty sloppy about things. So um, that was true with everybody back in the day. <laughs> and so we had templates and um, they were, you know, things that I coveted. Um, whenever I saw a, a new one that I, that I liked, I got it and I had a nice collection of templates and um, uh, not everybody had a nice set of templates, but I did. Uh, and so I thought I'd share those with you today. Uh, I was going through a drawer and found them. Uh, we have small templates and we have big templates. And uh, these are all uh, electrical engineering templates. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go through them. Uh, why, don't we, why don't we start with the big ones? Uh, here's one. Uh, transistor outline template. And this is by Rapid Design. It's got my uh, scrawl on it. And it's got some normal circles, but it's got uh, some outline uh, outlines of um, things like uh, TO, uh, TO3, TO3 package. So you can draw that. Here are, the, here are the mounting holes. Well, let's go ahead and do it. And so we would line that up and say, you know, here, here are the mounting holes. So that's a TO3 package would, would fit in there. I had a TO, here's a TO package right, right here on the bench. So you can see, hey, hey, it fits. So uh, there's some other packages probably we don't see anymore. Uh, some strange things with lugs on them, uh, three lugged transistor thing. There's a bunch of metal cans that you hardly see anymore. Um, this is probably a TO5 can here. Uh, there's some little ones. This one may be a TO92 can. Uh, here's some resistors, it looks like. I'm not quite sure. It's like potentiometers. I'm not quite sure about those. No, I think those are like diodes or something. I think these are all semiconductors. I think everything on here is a semiconductor. Um, so that was for like a PC board layout or a mechanical drawing to make sure everything's going to fit in the, uh, in the space that you've got. Um, here are the down, the down looking views. So, um, even has the little, has the little tab off to the side, which metal can transistors do. So that's kind of cool. Oh, and it tells you the pinout here, emitter base collector shield for the pinouts and stuff. So that was pretty nice. Let's see, next one here. Uh, now this one's interesting. Uh, this one says Hewlett Packard on it. And uh, this one actually has an HP part number. So this is HP part number 9282-0072. So you could go down to the stock room and you could actually request this. And uh, this is something that all, all HP engineers would have access to. Um, now this is a uh, mill standard 15. So there is a standard for for drawings, and uh, I think this is a, this is the one-to-one -one template. So there's one-to-one -one templates, half size, quarter size, stuff like that. So this one, this one has a nice, a nice big, uh, nice big transistor on it. So, yeah, these are these are pretty, pretty big, pretty big. So schematics were very, very large. Um, a lot of times schematics were drawn on, you know, pieces of paper that were like three feet by four feet and uh, took up a lot of space. Here's one for bridge, bridge rectifier transformer. That's kind of a nice one. I like that one. Like 
pencil just barely fits in those grooves. They're pretty tight. Uh, so transformer didn't get it all the way in. Um, here's a dashed line. I wanted to draw a dashed line. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all kinds of things on these templates. Um, I don't remember using this one. Um, I think it was just too big. Uh, things, and this is also was in the stock room. This uh, engineering notepad paper. So this is the standard issue. You went down to the stock room, and they had tons of this stuff. Um, all right, let's look at another big one here. Here's one. This one's by Barrel Rapid Design. Uh, electrical slash electronic engineering ANSI standard Y thirty two dot two, and uh, this one's got. Um, uh, tubes and transistors. Um, it's got some little little double arrows for like a photodiode or an LED. That's kind of cool. Uh, there's some strange symbols here I don't quite recognize. Here's a looks like an antenna. Uh, here's a here's a cool fuse. I like that fuse. Yeah, that's a nice one. I can see you know remains of pencil lead in there, so I've used that one. Okay, next one is Electronic Template, Koenor, uh, 830311. And this one's not, this one's pretty sparse. There's not a lot of, uh, not a lot on here. Um, microphone, looks more like a CRT to me. Uh, microphone, speaker, Oh, here we go. This is the speaker. This is the microphone. Uh, antenna doesn't, they don't label this one, but it is a CRT. Here's some vacuum tubes, sockets. That's kind of a nice, uh, nice feature on this one. Looks like some push button switches over here. Um, again, it's pretty big though. All right. What is this one? This one is also a PC board layout. Um, now you'll notice this one's a uh, 24 liter dip. So this is the 600, 600 mil dip uh, package. And here's a 16 uh, liter part. So this is the uh, 300 mil center part. And um, parts for canned op amps and tubes and stuff. Again, here's like a TO3. I forget what this package size is called. Here's some like a TO92 top view of the package. Now here's one that's more um, more PC board layout. Um, here's spacings for different resistor sizes. Here are uh, eighth watt, quarter watt, half watt, one watt, two watt. And so package size and, and hole spacing. Um, here's some capacitors. Uh, here's an edge connector on the side of a PC board, uh, different type of spacings, 100 mil spacings, core, uh, eighth inch spacings in 0.156. Uh, here's uh, some nice uh, layout for uh, potentiometers, the uh, pin spacing and the uh, package spacing, different types of potentiometers and different types of capacitors. I like that one. PC designer, PC one, one to one. So this is actual size. This is by Tangent Template Incorporated, San Diego, 1974. All right, what's this one? This one says Hewlett Packard on it. It's got the old logo part number. It has an HP part number, so you could go down and order this one. Schematic template, uh, drawing format 50, Parentheses 75 by 33 centimeters. I don't know what that means. Um, transistors, uh, logic circuits. Um, ah, this one actually has the exclusive OR line. You don't see that very often in templates. And this one has some tiny little ones. So you could draw, you could draw a normal size, normal size OR gate. Oops, sorry. And normal size OR gate or a tiny, tiny little OR gate. So that's kind of cute. 
Um, yeah, I forgot all about that template. Now it has a ruler on the edge. That's nice. All right. Now this template I used a lot. <laughs> so most of my design work was, I was going to say most of it, but a lot of it was digital. And uh, uh, I drew a lot of things using this template. I remember using this uh, heavily. Actually, in my pile of templates, I've got about three of these. Um, and again, it's a HP logic template, it has a part number. Um, but uh, I think this is like half size or something. Well, it's got three different sizes. So I think this is full size. Yeah, I don't remember. But uh, I remember using, uh, remember using these two. I don't ever made it. I never drew anything this big, uh, but I remember using these. Uh, didn't like this ground symbol. Probably didn't use that. Uh, yeah. All right, getting smaller and smaller now. Uh, this one looks very much like it. This is again by the Tangent Template Incorporated. Uh, a mill standard, 806C. There's a lot of drawing standards for the military. That makes sense. This is 3 8 size. Interesting. 3 8 um, it's got the, it's got the normal, uh, logic gate, and then it's got the little circles, so you can put, put the little circles on there, make it a, make it a NAND gate. Um, that's a nice one. Good size. Uh, here's one. Barrel Rapid Design R309. Uh, put their writing on sideways. Uh, so this one's got some nice resistors. I was looking for good resistors. Uh, there's a resistor. It's got vertical and uh, horizontal so you didn't have to flip your template. That's nice. Uh, here's some capacitors. Of course, capacitors always had one curved line back in the day. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. Come along and add some lines to it. Uh, better ground symbols. I like these ground symbols. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. And we're getting smaller. Uh, this one looks too small. Uh, Barrel Rapid Design R544A. Mill standard, again, the 806 standard. This is one quarter size, so these are teeny tiny. Yeah, that's, that's a tiny one. Um, so you could squeeze a lot on the page with one of those. I don't remember using this one. I think that's just too small. And the last one I had is this one, which also is a PC board layout. And this is just for uh, 300 mil, 300 mil um, center dip package. Oops, get it square with the page here. Got the little, got the little notch in there, which is nice. And then uh, you could come along and put down the. Uh, so these would be the uh, pads for the for the legs. You had to have patience back in those days. And uh, here's. Here's a nice one. This is a good size. Good size for a pad. And it says you draw these first and then you go back with the template to draw in the other ones. So those would be your, uh, your pads for PC layout. Yeah, that's cute. Tangent template. Dual inline. TO116 one, one, dip one. One to one. 1972. So. There you go. No CAD systems. Uh, just pen and ink. So. If anybody can remember any of their favorites or stories about 
trying with these things. It's interesting. Two of two templates. That's interesting. There was two of these. So maybe, I don't know if I have, uh, maybe these go together. Yeah, this was a set. Uh, PC designer. This is, this is the number one and this is the number two. So there you go. You bought a set of those. Anyway, hope, hope you enjoyed that.